Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Oist Jan. I hope you there are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Chelsea's very own Captain America, Christian Pulisic and posing the question, can he become the best player in the Premier League? Now hear me out, hear me out. That's a big old question there, man. But listen, he's just turned 21, literally. He's got a wealth of first team experience. We know he's wonderfully talented and technical, but under this coach, Frank Lampard, can he be imbued with the right goal scoring confidence and team spirit with this Chelsea side? and just explode, maybe. And that's the kind of stuff we're gonna be talking about today. And I'm gonna be talking about some of his stats this season, giving you guys some context of what's going on, and really sort of projecting how good he can become. And maybe the best, maybe. Before we do get into today's content, quick reminder for you to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. And a little plug to subscribe to Yan Plays, my gaming channel where I play FIFA. It's loads of fun, loads of you are really digging it, getting into it, it's getting pretty dramatic now. Links in the top of the description do go and subscribe all right christian pulisic obviously signed last january came this summer transfer ban eden hazard replacement yada 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 captain america usa talisman all that media jargon that you've already heard truth is it wasn't smooth sailing for the young american when he came to the premier league played a little bit didn't play, criticised heavily, Lampard criticised heavily, turns out he was being treated just right, nursed back into the side, exploded, doing very well, incredibly well, integrated in this Chelsea side. Happy days. So I'm going to talk about why I think he can get better and better and what this Chelsea side and Frank Lampard can offer him, but let's give you a little bit of context first of how well he's actually been doing this season. So let's open the statistics page. Boom, let's start off with your bread and butter as a general forward player, goals and assists. Pulisic has five goals and two assists in the Premier League this season already. This works out to seven goal involvements in just 566 minutes. And that works out to a goal contribution every 80 minutes. That's a return that an elite centre forward would be happy with. And remember, Christian Pulisic isn't in the mould of that player. He's a wide dribbling, sort of creative number 10 player. A bit like Eden Hazard that drops deep and does a bit of everything. But the young American is in high confidence at the moment and he is taking 2.1 shots per game which shows for bearing in mind a youngster that generally hasn't scored a lot of goals in his first team career which is a lot of experience and remember he's played loads of first team football he's never been like an elite goal scorer but at the moment he's confidence is flying high and he wants to bang goals which is lovely probably got frank lampard to thank for that more stats it's not just banging goals and trying to get forward he is making 1.3 key passes per game 1.3 key passes per game is a very high creative stat it's the kind of thing that usually you get maybe someone like christian erickson might be doing or someone like a sort of creative midfielder but for a winger who's often trying to run in behind staying wide and combining that is superb now we know he's a ball carrier he completes 2.2 dribbles slash take-ons per game which again for a, a player who's trying to be direct making creative passes he's very good at retaining the ball keeping possession and taking on a player again exuding confidence this is something Pulisic's always done I think that's why they identified him to replace Hazard because they see him making creative passes but they see him dribbling past players they're like right we're losing Eden Hazard even if he's not a direct end hazard at the moment, he's certainly a player in the mould of him. So let's get him. He's a great dribbler. 2.2 dribbles per game. Excellent. Chelsea are quite a risk-taking, direct attacking side at the moment. But that doesn't stop a player in Pulisic's position, again a winger who takes more risks as well, up the pitch, maintaining an 82% pass accuracy. 82% pass accuracy is very, very passable anywhere on the pitch. But again, when you're a player who's carrying the ball, looking to do one-twos in the final third, and generally attack and combine and take risks, very, very good indeed. And finally, the final stat I want to talk about is... Pulisic has three Man of the Match awards this season. That's 25% of Chelsea's games, he's won Man of the Match. Bear in mind, he hasn't even played in all of them. He's actually sat out loads of games and only come on as a sub. So he's very much imposed himself on the games he has played and shined in the Premier League. The stats dictate he's been very, very good in the Premier League this season so far. So let's get rid of the statistics page and talk about Captain America a little bit more and how good he can be. Right then, Chelsea bought 
Pulisic because they knew he was very, very talented. They bought him when he was 20 years old. He must have been 19, 20 when they actually purchased him. Probably just turned 20. And he, like I said previously in the video, he has a wealth of first team experience. He went to the Bundesliga when he was like 14, 15. I think he broke through to the first team when he was 16. Played loads of, you know, top flight Bundesliga games, Champions League games, loads of games for the US men's national team, captain them, all by the age of 20. Yes, an argument can be made. He wasn't banging loads of goals or necessarily doing loads of assists. But you could see the ability was there and maybe it just needed to be nurtured in terms of confidence. We know he's a highly emotionally charged guy. You could see that when he was upset on the uh, US men's national bench recently when he got taken off, the team wasn't doing well and he got emotional. So you can tell he's very charged, very passionate. So what do you need to sort of nurture that and mold it in the right way? A passionate coach like Frank Lampard, who knows all about scoring goals from attacking midfield. In hindsight, everyone's saying, wow, Frank Lampard handled Pulisic perfectly. He, you know, it was a big price tag. He had no rest in the summer. He's got the weight of his country on his shoulders and, you know, the big price tag, like I said. Put him in, put him out, nurtured him, gave him belief. Now he's He's basically fully integrated with this Chelsea side. The camaraderie there, he's one of the boys. They're all celebrating with each other. They all believe in each other. And it's a lovely thing to see. He's playing with confidence and expressing himself now. Those numbers that I just told you about with the dribbles, the key passes, the shots on goal, that's all testament to him flying high and believing in himself, believing in the team, and believing in Chelsea coach Frank Lampard. Now, how good can Christian Pulisic actually be? Well, remember, he's only just turned 21 in September. So he's really, really, really young. He's got all this European experience under his belt and he's already performing at a very high level in the Premier League. So, can he be the best player in the Premier League in his time at Chelsea? Yes, and I'll tell you why. In terms of skill set, he's got it all. He can finish with both feet, he can do long range finishes, short range finishes. He's amazing at combining one twos, he sees the pass, he always makes those through balls, excellent at key passes as we know. We've seen him run in behind to great effect. He's one of the fastest players in the Premier League. He can stay on the shoulder, run in behind, take the ball one-on-one -on -one finish with the keeper. The dude can score headers from corners now. I think he scored, what, a couple of headers? He can do glancing headers and he, he can run into the box late and get on the end of a, a ball. And actually, that's what I want to talk about next. The bravery. Under Frank Lampard, he's imbued the young American with this new trait of just rough throwing yourself in. Sure, he was a technical dribbling ball carrier before, but when he's like, you know launching himself into the box at the right time that header he scored the other day when he could have absolutely got taken out I think he did get taken out by the post where he hit his ribs after headering it in he got straight up sure he took a battering from the upright but he ran away and you know celebrated with his teammates very brave that is a fully immersive attitude that if you can sort of invoke the powers of prime Frank Lampard in terms of arriving in the box and scoring every kind of goal, add that to his general elite cultured talent that he's already got, then you could have a player with unlimited potential. Remember, he's not doing all this at the age of like 26, 27, he's just turned 21. His professional hardworking demeanor, married with the camaraderie of this Chelsea squad, nurtured by the belief of goal scoring super midfielder Frank Lampard, this could be a potion for an absolute explosive success. And if things go right at Chelsea and he stays for like even just five years, in two years time, if he keeps getting better and better and better on a positive trajectory, Remember, in two years time, he's only going to be 23. <laughs> the dude's potential is unlimited. So when you take all of that into account and you pose the question, could Christian Pulisic become the best player in the Premier League? The answer is, Absolutely yes. It's an exciting time at Chelsea Football Club, and obviously players like Mane and Salah are entering their late twenties. They're in a very, very good team. But Pulisic's demonstrating so much to all around his ability. Sure, you've got players like Raheem Sterling, who's a similar age. I think he's like two or three years older. Uh, again, he's in a very, very good team. So the stiff competition for the sort of golden boy in the Premier League. I'm just saying, if you look at all his skill set and his traits and how he's playing and what team at the moment with that natural progression he absolutely could be the best anyway i'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to think about the situation get down in the comments below do you agree with me do you believe if he stays on this up 
upwards trajectory at such a young age, he could become the best. Does it require Chelsea to sort of keep Frank Lampard, keep these players, add some more quality around him? What do you think? If you have enjoyed the video today, guys, please do like the video. Remember to subscribe to Jan Plays, the gaming channel. I want to grow it. It's loads of fun. I'm really enjoying doing it, and apparently you guys enjoy it too. Link in description. You can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram at Football Yannick. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you're new. That's it, guys. I'm out. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.